Today, I'm going to tell you my January TBR. Now, I was going to have, I have a brand new TBR game for you, but as I was recording it yesterday, I decided that I just didn't think it was going to work for me. So, the TBR game meant that I was only picking 10 books. However, I was picking books outside of it as well, and I was still ending up with like a massive TBR. So, I think what it is that I do is I pick a massive TBR in such a way that so that I've got a collection of different types of books because I am a mood reader so I think it's important for me to continue to do that and just try and remember not to put too much pressure on myself like I have done in the past I think that's the best way for me to do it so TBR game has been scrapped unfortunately I apologize it may come back I don't know we'll see how I get on um, in 2020 with reading but today I wanted to tell you my TBR so I have a lot of different types of books um, in this TBR today I have some book club books I have some buddy reads i have some library books i have arcs and i have some books that i just will start new series or i have rereads as well so let's get into it because it's a big stack as per i think i've got 20 books on this so let's see how we get on so the first book i'm picking is for my contemporary book club which is a new book club that i've just started if you want to know more information i'll leave the links in the description down below um the book for us for january is get alive chloe brown by talia hibbert i'm really excited about this obviously by the name of the book club you can guess that we are picking contemporary reads and uh, this is the one that won it for january so i'm really really excited about it looking forward to to that then for the Accio book club read I am going to be reading The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern this is not my book club this is a book club by some other people again I'll leave information down below if you want to get involved but they're reading The Starless Sea for January so I thought it would be a perfect time for me to pick this up um I do have the audio for this but my parents got me the physical book for Christmas so I'm very very excited I cannot wait to pick this up I've heard nothing but great things so I'm really looking forward to it then I will be reading Fairy Loot's December book which is A Will Fall by Sarah Harrion um this obviously is a little bit of a spoiler if you've not opened your December box yet I apologize but this is the book that's in there they always do a buddy read and I will be buddy reading so I'm very excited to pick this up it sounds amazing I'm really really looking forward to it um cannot wait to get to this and obviously this is like an exclusive cover everyone else's that didn't get it from Fairy Loot will be blue so yeah I'm looking forward to this one then my buddy reads I am buddy reading Ninth House by Lee Bardugo with my friend Steph over at Book Steph on Instagram again leave li link in the description below go check her out she's awesome I absolutely love her so I'm really looking forward to buddy reading this one with her I've been wanting to read this for a while I know there are very very mixed reviews about this but I'm aware that Bobby from Bobby Reads has just finished this and she's given it five stars she's actually said it's one of her favorite books of the year so I'm super hyped for it now because I love Bobby and I just think that she's she just she, she's gonna know what she's talking about you know also a point that she made about, about this is that she hasn't read well she read shadow and bone but she didn't get on with it so she's not continued with lee bardugo's grishaverse series so i have not read them yet i'm planning on doing so in 2020 but i haven't read them yet so i think for that reason i might get on with this i think people who have read the grishaverse series is series series is you know the shadow and bone series the six of crows series etc um might prefer that to this so i think i will probably end up really liking this but i think i might like the others as well after this if that makes sense so I think for that reason I am going to get on with it and I'm so glad that Bobby said that because it was something that crossed my mind. I wondered whether I would get on with this because I haven't read those. So I'm glad she's mentioned it. So I'm really looking forward to it. Can't wait to pick that one up. Then I will be reading... Da, 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 da. Catherine the Devil by Kerry Maniscalco. If you've been reading my recent, if you've been watching even, if you've been watching my recent reading vlogs, I've been buddy reading this with my friend Siobhan. Again, link to channel in the description below. I'll link Bobby's as well down below so you can check that out. Um, we have been buddy reading this whole series. I think we read Jack the Reacher. Uh, Jack the Reacher? What? 
I think we read Stalking Jack the Ripper separately, but since then we've been buddy reading this series um, and I'm really excited to, you know, like finish it off. I really hope there's another one after this one and it continues, but we've loved this series so far and we have decided that we do want a buddy read at least one book every month to... Um, continue with this because we've really enjoyed it we're really getting along and she's such a great person i'm hoping she's going to come visit me next year it was so cool to hang out and you know like have a couple reading days or something but yeah we're going to be buddy reading capturing the devil in the month of january and finishing this series off and then following that we will be buddy reading first to die by james patterson this is the first in the woman's murder club series so we're going to buddy read the whole of the murder clubs women's murder club series i believe the 19th book just came out so we're really looking forward to that. I think Siobhan actually just got the 19th book. So <laughs> she's got them. I think she's got them all actually. She's a huge James Patterson fan. And I really want to read this series. I have wanted to for a while. And I just sort of mentioned to her. I know you love James Patterson. And she gets on with fantasy a little bit. But she does prefer like thrillers. And I want to get more into thrillers. So I said to her, shall we like buddy read the Women's Murder Club? I really want to read it. And she was like, hell yes. I've only read the first one. It was ages ago. So I need to reread it. Let's do it. So that's what we're doing so we're reading the first to die as well this month so those are like my buddy reads and my um book club reads then i have a big stack of arcs so the first arc that i want to read is after dark by dominic nolan this, this is the second in the past life series so this is the first one super excited i cannot wait to continue with this series because i adored I absolutely loved Past Life. I gave it five out of five stars. It's, it was Dom's debut book last year and I got to meet him at the Headline New Voices event, which was unreal. So thank you again to Headline for inviting me to that. So Headline, again, have been really, really kind. Rosie has sent me this over from Headline and they also sent me like a short story as well that Dom's done relating to Abigail Boone and he signed that for me as well. So thanks to Dom and Rosie and Headline for sending me this. I'm super excited. Cannot wait to pick it up. This comes out on the 5th of March. I've got Belle Revolte, I think that's how you say it, by Lindsay Miller. This comes out in February and I, so I want to pick it up. It's a fantasy, I believe, um, and I'm really looking forward to it. It sounds really, really good. This came in my book hooked book box i think that's how you call it book hooked box um 12 days of christmas so i'm really excited to pick this up this cover is absolutely stunning i cannot wait to get to this it sounds amazing I cannot wait to pick it up then i got um are you watching by vincent ralph this this came in book box club's box and i i'm super stoked to pick it up i can't wait it comes out in on the 6th of feb and it sounds really really good this is a thriller i believe it's got really short chapters in it i love short chapters i think i'm gonna fly through this it sounds amazing it says one killer 13 victims a million viewers it sounds so good uh then i have the neighbors by nicola gill i'm gonna say nicola gill i don't know if it is nicola gill this was sent to me by avon books so thank you to them for sending me this over it comes out on the 6th of february and i'm really really excited about it i think i'm going to relate to this a lot I'm stoked for like a light fluffy read and i'm very very excited i can't wait sounds really really good then moving off from arcs so i've got four arcs there which is really really good actually i'm so excited then i've got some library reads so i've got station 11 by emily st john mandel i'm really excited about this i've heard nothing but really good things about it and i really want to put like a dystopian type novel on here this month because i really really want to read a dystopian type novel and i've heard this is a good one bright pink edges um so yeah really excited about that one and i also got the turn of the key by ruth Ware because again i've heard great things about this i've got the audio for it so i can follow along with the book which is awesome then i've got a couple rereads so i have i heart new york by lindsay kelk i think i may have read the reread this last year as well but i'm obsessed with this series and i just now that the whole series is finished i heart hawaii came out in may in 2019 and i really really loved it and i just want to be able to binge read the whole series again now not only that but i want to binge read the about a girl series as well which sort of is a crossover series with the i heart new york series so 
very excited to do this. I'm just going to binge read, binge read all of Lindsay's books, to be perfectly honest, this year. So I'm going to start off with I Heart New York in January. It's only small, and I've read it like four or five times anyway, so it shouldn't take me too long. And then I'm going to reread A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer, because on the 7th of January, A Heart So Fierce and Broken comes out, and I cannot freaking wait. But I want to reread this first. So that is my plan. I have ordered the Fairy Loot edition of A Heart So Face and Broken so that it matches. So I'm very, very excited. I cannot wait. Then uh, my final stack is so obviously I'm going to be reading A Heart So Face and Broken as well. Uh, then my final stack includes a graphic novel. So I've got Monstrous Volume 1 by Marjorie Liu and Sana Taka Takeda. Takada sorry uh i'm very excited about this this is a steampunk novel i'm very excited about all these books to be honest this is a steampunk graphic novel and i think it's gonna be really really cool i've heard great things i think cody's read this i'm fairly certain g's read it and i think a couple of others have read it as well but i'm really looking forward to it it sounds great so i'm excited to get onto this um a new graphic novel series for me to start then i'm going to be reading i want to read so these two next books are starting me off on what I want so obviously I want to reread the I Heart New Like series which is something I'm going to do throughout the year. I also throughout the year want to read um, the Jack Reacher series and if, which I'm going to read in order you don't need to but I'm going to do it anyway and I'm also wanting to read Stephen King's novels which I'm going to try and do in publication order but i don't know if that's going to work out because i don't want to read all of them some of the really 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 horror ones i'm not too keen on not only that but i have read the first in the dark tower series the dark tower and the gunslinger i think it's called and i didn't like it so i'm not going to continue with that series um so there are a couple that i've already bought so i've got uh carrie misery um Rose Madder, I have a few already on my shelves, Dolores Claiborne, um, a The Green Mile, a Christine, and I've got a few others as well. So there are a few that I already own, um, but I would like to read all of his books out that I think will I will like. I really want to give it a try, but I don't know if I'm going to like it because I freaking hate clowns, like unbelievably hate clowns. Like I will cl cross the road if I see a clown in the street. That's how much I dislike clowns. I can't go to the circus anymore. I just don't like them. And it's all because of the movie It. So, uh, so I digress. So I want to pick up Die Trying by Lee Child, which is the second that came out in the series. Um, this, I have already read Killing Floor and I've already read 61 Hours and then the majority of the short story collections from the Jack Reach series. So I want to read Die Trying. Really annoyed that this is a mass market paperback book. I ordered it from eBay. It was advertised as the normal sized book and then this turned up. So I'm really pissed about that, but alas this is going to go to the charity shop and i'm going to get a normal sized one but yeah that's what i'm planning on sticking on here as well this month oh shine on and then for stephen king i'm going to be picking up carry it which is the first book that he ever published it's a shortish one so i'm looking forward to that i've read i've watched the film a couple times for this i'm not a huge fan of it it is a little bit frightening so i don't know how the book's going to go down with me but we'll see i'm going to give it a try anyway we'll try new things in 2020 guys and then continuing with this series i'm going to be picking up predator scroll by philip reeves this philip reeves sorry this is the second in the mortal mortal engine series and i loved mortal engine so i'm really excited to continue with the series i think it's going to be great and i cannot wait to see where this takes us and then i am I'm going to reread Skyward by Brendan Sanderson so that I can read Starsight by Brendan Sanderson. I remember vaguely what happened in this. I loved this. I gave it five out of five stars. It's amazing. But because I've read like 215 books at this point this year um, and I've read this 2018, I can't fully remember what happened in the end. So I want to reread it. I'm not mad about rereading it. I've got it on audio. Mbot is Scottish and it's just fucking hilarious. Mbot and Spencer's banter is outstanding i do highly recommend the audiobook for these so i'm really excited about rereading this and then getting on to star side so those are the last two books on my tbi for january so that's 22 20 books sorry 20 books for january one of them is a graphic novel which is just great 
I do have a couple of other graphic novels that I could pick up throughout the month if I wanted, you know, to break it up a little bit, but I didn't want to put them on and overdo myself. So we'll see how this goes. 20 bucks isn't too bad. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Just taking it step by step. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments down below if you think there are any that I should make more prior of a priority than others. Also, if you could let me know, I am not a horror fan. I do not watch horror movies. I don't like them. I am a scaredy cat. I live on my own. I just don't like them. So if you can recommend for me which books you may think, which books you think may be the best for me from Stephen King. Um, I'd really appreciate it. Obviously, I think I'm going to love Misery because I'm obsessed. I love the film. I think it's great. Um, I think Christine should be fine because it's a, it's a, it's the car that's alive. So if that doesn't freak me out. I've seen the film for that as well. The Green Mile will be fine. Um, if anything, I will just cry about it because it's really, really sad. And I think I'm going to enjoy Rose Madder as well. From what I've heard, I know that Cody got it recently she explained it and I was like holy shit I need that book it sounds awesome so yeah I think those are the sort of ones that I think I'm gonna like I have watched very recently The Shining it was okay I'm not planning on watching Doctor Sleep I do have Doctor Sleep on my TBR I've also got The Outsiders but I don't really know what that's about but I know it's becoming a Netflix show so I'm intrigued I'm not sure but I don't know if I want to read The Shining I don't know how weird it is so yeah if you've got if you're a stephen king expert please let me know in the comments down below if you've got any tips for me or what you think the best thing for me to do is or whether you think it's best for me to just try everything and if i don't like it just put it down um yeah just let me know in the comments down below i'd really appreciate that and yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video and i shall see you next time bye for now